A continuación presentamos el devocional diario traducido al inglés. En español lo puede encontrar de lunes a viernes a las 9 horas en las Islas Canarias por el canal de YouTube. Centro Evangélico Vida Nueva. Dejamos más información abajo en la descripción del video. Good morning, my dear brethren and friends. As every morning, I give you the most cordial welcome. On page 59 of my daily devotional, this new devotional that we are launching just this year, the title of the devotional today is His Song Will Be With Me. And the text that is proposed is, is verse on Psalm 42, specifically chapter 8. And the word of the Lord says, The Lord will command His loving kindness in the daytime, and in the night His song shall be with me. A prayer to the God of my life. The psalmist is having a hard time because he's remembering those times, those days, in which joyfully he went up to the house of the Lord, to the temple of Jerusalem, singing and joyful among the multitude. Now things have changed. He expresses that he has a desire to return and to remember and experience those glorious days in which the Bektamida, how, how the temple was called, was in full fun operation and the people went up with their tithes and offerings with their first fruits to sing and praise the Lord. Now those times were over. They are part of the past glory and the psalmist is compared to a deer who is thirsty and is crying out desperately looking for water. The psalmist seeks to return to regain that peace, that joy, that freedom that at one point in time he experienced. But now, when he, the circumstances have changed, he's already discouraged, he's sad, and the circumstances have changed completely. Even some people, seeing the misfortunes that have happened, dare to ask him, where is your God? As mocking him, laughing at him, where is your God? That God of love, that God of mercy, that God that did so many wonders and miracles for you in the past, where is he now? Everything has changed. There is no longer a temple, no joy, no sacrifices, no songs. So what the psalmist is saying, instead of giving to depression, to complaining, to lamenting, what he's doing is seeking God in prayer, seeking him sincerely, knowing that in him he can take refuge and regain that joy, that freedom, and that happiness that he had before, that because of circumstances he has lost that. Among our lives, we will experience many types of sensations, difficulties, problems, great victories. We will go through valleys of shadow of death. One day we will be on top and one day on the bottom. And life turns and gives us so many changes. But in the midst of the pain and the anguish of the psalmist, of, or of you this morning, you can return to God, asking forgiveness for, to the Lord for your sins if you have committed them, sincerely seeking the Lord in genuine prayer, and asking Him that to restore your soul and to put in you that joy again, that peace, that joy that perhaps you had and experienced but because of different reasons the world has stolen from you. The psalmist in this Psalm 42, which is a beautiful psalm, I encourage you to read it all. He's expressing that the only possibility to return, to recover everything that he brought joy and happiness to his life was to seek God in prayer, to humble himself before his presence, to regain that uh, joy, that living water that flows from the relationship with God and from knowing His Word and experiencing His joy in us. I don't know what circumstances of life you find yourself today. I don't know if you are in the best moment or in the worst moment. I don't know if your family is united or completely destroyed. I don't know how your health is. Maybe it's fine. Or maybe you're going through a delicate moment. Whatever the case, things change. But God no. God is immutable. He is the same throughout the times and the ages. As the scripture says, He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. 
So it means that just as the psalmist said in this psalm, that the mercy of the Lord will return to his life, and he, he would once again sing with joy the same thing and should happen to your soul. Do not continue any longer in that cave, locked down in yourself, looking around you, complaining and whining, and trying to recover a glory, a happiness that is part of the past. Renew yourself in the presence of the Lord today. Think all things are passed away. We said that in one of the devotionals that we were sharing last year. God wants to do new things, wonderful and marvelous things in your life. Perhaps the Lord has taken you through all the circumstances in which you find yourself at this moment so that you seek the Lord greater, with greater intensity, so you learn to discover the presence of the Lord in the midst of your pain, or your anguish, and your chaos. The Lord is waiting for you with open arms. He wants to change your mourning into dancing. And If to remember a beautiful moment, a beautiful day in your life, you have to look back. That means that your present is perhaps harming you in the sense that you have not learned to rejoice and enjoy your relationship and your communion with God in this present circumstance you find yourself in. So that's why it's time to get up. It's time to seek God as the, the dear, desperate look for that water that would refresh his body. Now it's time to seek God. We are just beginning a year, and you should not allow, not even a moment more, that your anguish, your desperation, your sadness, your pain, will take over your life and will make you bitter every day that you have ahead. Tell God and, that, and, and say goodbye to that situation and those attitudes that do not help you to remain firm and victorious in the ways of the Lord. Are you you're going through trials and struggles? Well, glory to God. Learn to sing that new song, to sing the and to the song in the middle of your illness, your anguish, your discouragement, depression. The Lord is with you. He has never abandoned you, even if you believe that he's no longer with you. Even if the circumstances says the opposite, it is in the pain and anguish that it is most present in our lives learn to discover the Lord in your current circumstances do not live in the past glories trying to recover that because you will never be able to see it or live in the future hoping that in the future everything change it is today and now that you have to change tomorrow doesn't exist and tomorrow it doesn't either and the present doesn't either he wants to manifest himself today Even if the circumstances don't change, even if your husbands do not return to you, even if your children do not convert, even if you don't recover everything that you had before, the important thing is that you have to discover is what you have to, you need today, you have it. It's the Christ, the resurrected Christ, the glorified Christ that defeated death, Satan, and all of the demons. That Christ, living Christ, you already have him in your heart. The only thing is a matter of coming to him and saying, Lord, restore my soul, comfort my soul, Lord, and take me back to that living water so that I can once again enjoy my relationship with you. And in any circumstance, such as the case of Job, in illness, with friends or without them, with the support of your family or without, he learned to rejoice in his Redeemer, to praise his God because he knew that there is no circumstance that can separate us from the presence of our God. The day that you internalize this great truth, the day that we realize as if it were a true discovery that God is with me in my pain, in my anguish, in my illness, and in my present situation, that day we're going to experience something wonderful that you will not forget in your life. And to finish, I remind you what I have also said in many occasions. What is learned through tears, what you learn in the pain by suffering, is never forgotten. Therefore, what you have to learn today is that God is with you like a powerful giant, and nobody can separate you from your presence. There are brethren and people in other world that there 
are having a worse time and they have learned to learn to rejoice in the Lord despite of their circumstances. Today is a time of victory. Today is a new day that God is giving you so that you can learn, so that you can discover that He is your joy, your peace in the midst of your affliction. Let's pray this morning as always, putting our lives in the hands of our good God and trusting in Him, knowing that everything is under His control. It is of no use that you believe in Him if you are not internalizing what He has proclaimed and announced in His Word. It is of no use that you gather in a church or in any other place if you are not capable of living the truth that you know, the biblical truth, if you are not capable of living them. It is of no use all you, the theory that you have. Today, the Lord wants you to pass from theory to practice and that you are able to say thank you Thank you for this. Thank you for the other. Thank you for everything because I know that you are with me. Let's pray to our good God. Blessed Heavenly Father, thank you this morning because you are our joy. You are our peace. You are our freedom. You are everything that my life needs to live in victory. Lord, I present my life with thanksgiving before you. And just as that psalmist was perhaps experiencing In, in, in a bad time, I confess to you that I need you more than ever in my life. But I know that you're my renewal. I know that you are going to come into my life and transform my morning into dancing. And I know that I will be able to sing and praise and enjoy myself in spite of my circumstances. That maybe they're not the best, but they're the ones that you have allowed so that I today recognize you and confess you as my Lord and my spiritual coverage. I put my life in your hands. I put this day in your hands. And I give you thanks because I know that you are with me and your strength will accompany me every day of my life. I ask everything with thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Glory to God. I, and do you know that when you say amen, you're saying that I agree with what I have said and shared? So do not say amen and then you go to the same thing before. Say amen and thank you, Lord, because I know that you have heard my prayer. My dear brethren, I want to take the, uh, the opportunity before finishing today's devotional to tell you that once again, new channels with my name have emerged. When you perfectly well know that I don't have an own channel on Facebook, YouTube, or TikTok, or any other social media. So if you see a channel, even if it is Uh, our devotionals and my my teachings that channel is not ours there is a channel that is called Jose Manuel Paz that is false and it has nothing to do with me there is other channels from Centro Evangelico Vida Nueva we only have one and we only have one Facebook page be very careful because there are people that are taking advantage of my the material and of things that they shouldn't have done or they should have asked for permission something they did not do our channel is called Centro Evangelico Vida Nueva look at the amount of subscriptions that they have and then you will be able to know if that channel is the real one or is the false one that people with our scruples have set up without asking permission we're organizing the trip to Israel we're leaving January 18th uh, for Israel if you have not Uh, written, uh, register, and you want to travel with us, get in touch through our webpage, mividanueva.org. There is an already beautiful group that have already bought their tickets, their airplane tickets to travel on January 9th, 18th until the 25th. We will be there with the help of the Lord, and we will go to bless and support our brothers and sisters and all the people that God places in our path. May the Lord bless you. I wish you all have a day of peace, of joy, and of freedom. Blessings.